Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with uh, Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my uh, channel. I've got some news today from Norwegian, and we've got some news from uh, Carnival, uh, CDC, and uh, well, let's just get into it. Lots going on here. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, subscribing to my channel, Traveling with Bruce. Really appreciate your support. Also, those of you making donations to my uh, PayPal donate button. Thank you, everybody. Uh, as most of you know, we have uh, not been paid for advertising on YouTube since September, and uh, we are battling through that. Um, any donation to the channel, $10 US or more, I'll send you one of these right here. Traveling with Bruce, custom-made postcards from beautiful Creston, British Columbia. We've been sending these out around the world. Thank you, all of you who are supporting the channel. And don't forget, if you become a sponsor member of this channel, you get to join us twice a week for exclusive sponsor member shows. Mondays at 7 o'clock Eastern and Fridays at 3 o'clock Eastern. Fridays we play trivia and we have a lot of fun covering the cruise news and hanging out. So consider joining today. Thank you, everybody. Let's talk about... Uh, Norwegian here. Uh, the big news that just broke in the last hour through a SEC filing, um, <laughs> I noticed that Norwegian doesn't, uh, doesn't promote this very heavily, but the bottom line, they've canceled all of their cruises for January and February 2021. They won't start sailing until at least March 1. I've been predicting this uh, with the new change of administrations. Um, the CDC has made it as difficult as possible for cruise lines to start sailing again. Um, and uh, it was only a matter of time between the, by the time that the cruise lines would come clean with their customers and say, folks, we can't even think of a test cruise. We can't think of doing any kind of promotional cruising. We have got to get through the CDC rules and regulations and they are so onerous right now without a vaccine in play. I cannot see a single cruise ship leaving any U.S. ports with paying passengers. There's just no way to do it. Um, as the U.S. is hitting between 150,000 and 200,000 active virus cases a day, you cannot get to a cruise ship safely or get home from a cruise ship safely for sure without possibly being exposed to the virus. And the CDC will have none of it. <clears throat> the fact that airlines are able to uh, operate is a miracle. Uh, the only reason airlines are operating is because of their incredibly deep political connections in Washington. They are uh, manhandling the elected officials, and uh, it's next to impossible to shut the airlines down. But uh, bottom line, folks, we just got through Thanksgiving in the USA, Millions of people traveled when they shouldn't have. The CDC was pleading with people not to do it, and they did it. And um, we're going to watch these case counts. Uh, I'm uh, fearful that we're going to see record case counts uh, in the next few weeks. And so Norwegian has done the obvious. They've canceled cruises now until at least March. Watch Carnival. Watch Royal Caribbean. Watch Disney. Watch everybody follow suit here. There is not a chance of a cruise line being able to get out of a U.S. port. And so these scenes here of these uh, beautiful vessels, uh, they're just not going to be uh, taking passengers uh, anywhere, anytime soon. And uh, the folks in the Caribbean, uh, all the nations there, uh, they're wary. Uh, they're watching very closely their own case counts. They're watching the new surge in Canada, the U.S., the Europe. Uh, they are, uh, you know, some are very desperate for business to start. Others are going, geez, it's been six, seven months. We can go another six, seven months. And uh, from where I sit here, I can't see the cruise lines being able to uh, sail without a vaccine. And I don't see the vaccine being distributed uh, in a wide way across the majority of the uh, U.S., Canada, and Europe until probably Ju June, July, August. Uh, by the time, it's going to take that long by the time the vaccines are fully available for all to uh, to get. And remember, folks, we're talking about vaccines that uh, you have to make an appointment to get the first uh, injection. Then you have to wait 28 days before you can go in for your second. And I suspect it'll take at least 28 to 30 days, maybe 60 days after that for you to be cleared to travel internationally. I, I just feel it coming where the countries are going to say, oh yeah, yeah, you can you can fly into the UK, you can fly to Germany, France, you can come into the US, Canada, but only 30 to 60 days after 
your injections are complete so that the vaccine can take hold. And so we're talking now the fall of 2021 before these cruise lines really can start sailing with vaccinated passengers. And uh, uh, this this spells another $8 billion in losses for the cruise lines minimum. They're going to have to raise a lot more money. Now, the other news is Carnival, and it's uh, not good either. Um, Carnival, uh, they've got two problems. They've got the environmental issue with the federal judge in Miami because of their uh, conviction for polluting U.S. waters to deal with. That's um, uh, a whole bunch of regulations they're going through there to try to convince the judge to certify one ship at a time over all nine of their cruise lines. Um, but the second problem they're having is they tried to get their um, their uh, one of their newest ships, the Carnival Horizon. They're trying to get it cleared through the CDC to just allow the cruise line to um, pick up and drop off crew members in the U.S. There's a shot of the Horizon there. Um, they've been denied. They they flunked the CDC uh, initial. I don't know, inspections, uh, uh, they they could not get their she- their machine, their cruise ship green lighted to just allow them to drop off and pick up crew members, let alone passengers. And so they're still working with the CDC on, on these protocols. Uh, they're very strict. Uh, there's all kinds of cleaning procedures, uh, disinfection type procedures, um, uh, housing procedures for the crew. Uh, it goes on and on and on. It's an absolute bureaucratic nightmare, but, uh, it's also a health issue and, um, uh, it's not a loosey goosey. Oh, come on in and you will give you the green light to start dropping off and picking up crew members. It's not working that way. Uh, they've got to go through all kinds of protocols. And then when it comes to you and I as passengers, before a vaccine is approved, I can't see a single cruise line passing enough tests to get through all of these protocols. Um, maybe I'm being overly dramatic, but geez, um, everything has basically come to a stop. Uh, you've probably noticed in the last two weeks, have you heard a single word about any of those so-called test cruises for Royal Caribbean going anywhere. Uh, there were over a hundred thousand volunteers supposedly who signed up to go on a cruise. A lot of people thought they were going to get a free cruise. Um, they're basically signing up to be guinea pigs. Um, and, uh, the bottom line is the CDC, I can't see them even allowing that to happen. And the reason is this, uh, having just read this the other day, the CDC has basically told the cruise lines that if you're doing a cruise out of the U S whether it's two days or seven days, it doesn't matter. It can't be more than seven days. After, say, the second, third day, you have a positive case, just one positive case on board any ship, crew member or passenger, doesn't matter. You must announce it to the entire ship. You must then restrict all non-necessary crew to their quarters, and you restrict every passenger to their rooms. In other words, a mandatory quarantine lockdown on the ship and the ship must immediately return to the home port from where it came from. So if it left Miami two days ago and it still has five days to go, cruise is over, turn around and you come back to Miami right now with just one positive case from anyone on the ship. Um, the odds of, of 15 to 1800, 2000 passengers and 800 to 1500 crew not having just one positive case show are, are, are astronomical. I mean, the, the cruise lines are up against it. The other problem is the CDC has the right to tell the cruise line how many cruises they have to cancel beyond the, that cruise. And the, uh, they can mandate that the cruise line repatriate people who test negative after quarantine. And I don't know how long this is. It might be two weeks. They can mandate the cruise line return all passengers via private transportation only. In other words, no one can take a commercial flight home. You must be repatriated through a charter system or some sort of a uh, closed off uh, non-public way to get home. This is a blank check nightmare for cruise lines that just can't afford it. You cannot have a cruise line with 1,500 to 2,000 passengers where you might have to get them home via non-commercial means. Uh, this will These guys are bankrupt now. These cruise lines are technically broke. They cannot be on the hook for millions of dollars per cruise in repatriation costs to get people home. I, I don't know how this is going to go without 
the vaccine. And so I think we're talking second, third quarter, folks, before we really are going anywhere. But, you know, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but boy, the news just isn't great. There it is. Um, Norwegian cancels until March. Carnival can't get certification. We'll stay on top of this, folks, and keep you posted. Thank you for your support. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.